Welcome everyone to another episode in Planet Zoo and slowly but surely all that snow just melted. Isn't that nice? So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to work on this little area right here and our flamingos can be put in here and uh, these birds kind of inspired me to think about that. So we're going to go ahead and put in a little flamingo uh, exhibit right here and uh, the people can walk through it and so I'm also going to set up some places where they can go to picnic sit relax enjoy so let's go ahead and get on this all right and so on our a giant of flamingos we do not need a huge barrier we only need a grade one and it only needs to be one meter high so I'm thinking, let's go ahead and do uh, these, a hedge. Let's do a hedge. And uh, those are two meters high. So let's go ahead and get one of these out here. And make it nice and long. That looks pretty straight. Yep. Now, the, yeah, it's because the path is not straight. And just go down just a tad, please. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and turn it. We'll I'll have to do some decorating on the outside. And I need to lower it. Because it does not need to be that high. There you go. That's pretty good. Alright, now let's go ahead and add to this... We'll go this way. And we will go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that looks pretty much like it's going to line up. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now all around the outside of this, we will go ahead and put in some uh, decorations also. We're going to go ahead and assign this little exhibit to, uh, let's go ahead and make sure that's nice and straight. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and assign uh, this little exhibit to work zone uh, three. Yep, work zone three. You can handle this too. Now, at the present moment, we do not have to worry about adding any extra workers, but we will once we get it in. All right, so now we just need to get this thing all laid out. I want to go ahead and put in our visitor entryway. Guest entrance right here. Yeah, I think that looks good. And let's go ahead and get our pass. Uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and go with, uh, what we go with a dirt? Is there a dirt one? Hmm, it's not really a dirt one. That's asphalt. Tree bark? Okay, we'll go with tree bark. And let's go ahead, before we put our path in here, let's go ahead and get a little bit of terrain done. Thinking right here in the middle, I want to go ahead and put a big old mountain kind of in here, maybe with some water coming off of it. And, ooh, that's a little too big. Got a lot of room, but at the same time. Flamingos like water, so we will go ahead and make sure that we get a lot of water in here. Okay, I think that's a pretty good sized mountain. Maybe just a little taller. The greater flamingo is a large species of migratory bird that is widespread across Europe, Middle East, Asia, and Africa. It lives on the mudflats and coastal lagoons of temperate and warm environments and is a filter feeder, which means it uses its beak to stir up mud and filter out the algae, invertebrates, and seeds. Male and female flamingos look the same with pale pink to orange pink feathers, pink legs, a pink beak, with a black tip 
and often brighter pink patches on their wings. They also have black flight feathers, measuring between 44 inches to 60 inches tall and weighing between 4.48 pounds and 8.8 .8 pounds. The species is not endangered, but is still affected by humanity's impact. Although a high sensitivity to the water pollution that's caused by agricultural or manufacturing runoff, this damages their breeding environment and kills many of the invertebrates on which they feed. They are also affected by habitat encroachment from humans. As a result, the European Union has implemented protection on many salt flats and coastal lagoons, ensuring that flamingo population can return to the same area to feed and reproduce. The greater flamingo are social animals and prefer to live in a large flock. Although mating may be monogamous, group members are often helping each other protect and feed all of the chicks. Flamingos are monogamous, some for a season, some for life. Together, the two partners will build a mound of mud with a depression in the top as their nest in which the female will lay a single egg. It's incubated there for 27 to 31 days by both the mother and father and is fed by regurgitated crop milk for the first three to four weeks of its life. After this, it will begin uh, filter feeding over by the non-breeding adults for another month thereafter. The birds are fully grown at two years old, amateur by three, although they are unlikely to mate until they be are between five to ten years old. Some of our fun facts for our flamingo is they develop their pink coloration from the food that they eat. They accumulate pigments in their feathers from the algae and the invertebrates they feed upon. Parent flamingos can identify their chick's cry from within a crowd of thousands of other flamingos. Flamingos are born with straight beaks. The beaks start to curve when they are one month old and allow them to filter the food. Flamingos are seen 40 million years ago in the fossil records.
And here is our greater flamingo habitat. They do not want a lot of vegetation in here. So we pretty much have pushed the plants right up to where we can't go any further with them. They're perfectly happy and they have been multiplying pretty good. And as you can see, they have one of their really good feeders over here. And um, they love coming over here and swimming too. And we do not really have any visitors in here. Here come some visitors. Here come some visitors. And I believe that we have, there's four of them in here. There's six of them in here. Two babies, three babies, three adults. Okay. And these are the babies. They're the white ones with the little brown feathers. And these are the adults, the pretty ones, the really pretty pink ones. And I love these little waterfalls too that they have. So let's see, have we gotten any money in here? A little bit. People are enjoying it. And um, they do come all the way up here and, um, and take a look out over them. Like I said, they do like to swim down in this one right here. And then when they do eat, people do come over here. I love when they fly like that. It is so neat. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and in learn something about the giant flamingo. Please consider leaving a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We will see you all back next time.